Rebecca, I need your help. I don't know what to do. I, I want to do a virtual field trip for my students and I've collected all of this information, but now I'm stuck and I don't know what to do with it. I know that you've done virtual trips to museums and, and you are so creative and you're super into history. So I'm hoping that you can give me some feedback and advice on this project. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath and try to go through this calmly so I can state everything clearly. <sighs> okay. I'm having my students read The Human Comedy by William Saroyan. It was written in 1943, and one of the things I like about this book is it takes place in Fresno. It gives a very positive view of the Central Valley, which is something that I wanted my students to see. My students do have a video biography that I have created for them that is an introduction to William Saroyan and to the book The Human Comedy. They have several quizzes a couple of writing assignments, and several discussions that they are doing on this book. Right now, they're about halfway through. So that's one of my questions is, I don't know at what point to do this virtual field trip. Should it be now? Should I wait until the end? And other questions I have are, how should I format it? Should it be a PowerPoint video that I do? Should I have them join me live and I go through the pictures? All right, let me show you the materials that I have so far. I've collected pictures of Fresno during the time period that Saroyan wrote this book, and I've included the landmarks that he mentions, like the Fresno sign, the public transportation, Courthouse Park, Zapps Park, the Opera House, etc. So these are all things that I think they might be interested in seeing. In addition to that, there's this website called the Armenian Museum of Fresno, and they have a, vo a virtual tour of some William Saroyan highlights, like his grave, the William Saroyan Theater, his bust, it's very famous and popular, the house he lived in when he was a child, and the house he lived in as an adult. So I don't know what to do with all of this information, how to tie it together and wrap it up. I, I would appreciate any feedback or suggestions that you can give me. The students and I need your help. Thanks, Rebecca.